Hey guys, welcome back to another video out here on a nice Saturday afternoon and 70 degree sunny weather. Clear water just got done raining this past two weeks and hopefully going to be finding some killer bottles today. We already got our first find right here. It's probably going to be modern. Yep, catch up. Yeah. Well, that's a shame. Yeah, I got some big pieces, bigger pieces right here. That would have looked like a Clorox. But there are definitely uh, new stuff has been washed up. And uh, we will let you know as soon as we find something good. Get back to you. Well, guys, we're still at the starting point and we're still looking around. I think I, it's broke, this bottle, but it looks like an early cork top. Eh, maybe. It's a little too mossy. Not really going to clean it. It might, I think that's more modern. That's a little upsetting. Uh, I think I got a base of something right here. I'll put that on the side right there. Uh, the creek. There's a lot of glass turned up. A lot of stuff. That wasn't it. Where did it go? Where did it go? I think that was it. Yeah. Hmm. Alright. We'll go back to you guys when we find something. Guys, I think I might have something good down here. It looks like a cork top. Could be anything. I can get it. Nope, screw top. Ah, well, that's disappointing. On to the next one. So, uh, Eli was, uh, let me get this. So Eli was walking around on that sandbar over there and he pulled out this nice debossed Dr. Pepper from Indianapolis, Indiana. It's a pretty good find. Sadly, it's not embossed, which the uh, embossing is raised. If you find those, those are the earliest style of Dr. Peppers, but still, that's a good find. Always like finding us Dr. Pepper. That's the first good find. Get back to you on the next one. Well, guys, we're just walking around and on the creek bank right here. I think we've located another dump, so that would be the third dump of this town that I've been digging at. And Eli pulled, oh, well, I pulled it down because he was interested to see what it is with the grabbers because it's too far to reach up there and this bank is really slippery. And he pulled out of the water and someone 100 years ago had a can of nails and threw it off from the side of the dump and that's all nails in there that's really cool it's almost fossilized that's really neat but uh we're, we're slipping around trying to see what else is up on this creek bank it's like a rodeo yeah all right we'll go back to you if you find anything else guys i just found this really nice looks like a ranch bottle it's, uh says log cabin log cabin something on it say 30s 40s maybe a little later if anyone's interested in that let me know this could be easily turned purple and that would make the value go up a little bit more and it would just look more visually stunning that's really cool um where's that yeah so yeah, eli found this uh this cream jar it says mick beauty in chicago i know no one or i've ever heard of anyone finding one of these with the the lid on it. Look how pristine that looks. It's really nice. Here, I'll zoom in on it. That's awesome. Mick Beauty and Co. Chicago. Yeah, that's a big piece. Oh wow! Look, it says on something. Looks like huh. it got painted on or something. No, that that's uh, stenciling. Oh. Yeah, that would have been cool to find a hole. We're finding a lot of good stuff, guys. A lot of good stuff. Nothing really extremely old or rare, but stuff that's unique. And that also counts too, but we'll get back to you on the next one. Well, guys, we made it through all those trees and whatnot, made it to the sandbar. Got a broken amber flask, 30s, 40s, a castoria that is blown in mold. That's probably our oldest find. Actually, no, that's early machine made. Wait, nope, never mind, blown in mold. It says... Chamberlain's right there. This bottle made in America. Sadly, only the sides are embossed. Flask is broke. 
already said that. Uh, nice early bottom here. Factory, first deposit, or, oh wait, no, Michigan right there. It's cool. Walking along this uh, side right here. <clears throat> yeah, I just pulled out uh, another remote glass. Sadly, it doesn't have the lid on it. Man, I was really hoping there would be a little bit more, but there's plenty of sandbar, or, ugh, sandbars to go down. I see a bottle right there on that sandbar. You see that in the middle, Eli? See that middle sandbar? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, guys, we'll get back to you. Well, here's a, a flask. It's true top. Yep, nothing fancy, just one pipe. All right, on the next phone. Well, this is the first keeper for me of the day. Most of the stuff I've been finding that's nice and early is broken, but I've never seen a Lysol that is embossed on the shoulder before. It says Lysol there, Lysol there, and it's got the chemical company on the bottom. That's really cool. That's the third Lysol I have, ugh, that I have. I'll be adding that to the collection. There's a bone right there that you I just found, but we'll, we'll get back to you. That's very cool. All right, guys, it's getting uh, late on us. Sun's going down. Probably have, well, uh, like two, two and a half hours with a good daylight. But, uh, I mean, it, you could still have that amount of daylight left and the sun's starting to get low and visibility in the creek will get a little worse. But we got a bottle down here. I'm just hoping it's embossed. I don't care if it's from the 20s, 30s. I'm hoping it's, oh. Hey, it's it's slick. It's a slick extract, I bet. Huh. We're really taking our time going back up the creek so we get every last thing. But yeah, that's a machine-made uh, extract more than likely. But I might be doing a part two of this video. Or just do a separate video. I'll probably just do a separate video. This will be this weekend's video and next weekend. Uh, probably more likely we'll be having a video walking in a creek with bricks the one brick layer creek that I haven't walked in quite some time it's, it's been a while bricks really aren't my thing but they're always fun to find and normally I found I have found some good bottles in there so we'll get back to you if we find anything else well, fifth find of the day for Eli. I only have three, but that's normally how it happens when you bring somebody along with you. I'm not giving up hope. We're walking upstream, and we've been finding... I almost feel like we've been finding more bottles upstream yeah, than we were we're downstream. Down. But this is a Dr. Jane's Expectorant, small size. Uh, it says small size on there, too. And I've actually dug one of these from the 1890s, and this is in a clear, and it's machine-made, so I'd say teens, 20s, probably 20s, but that's cool. I didn't know they made this uh, style in a clear. I didn't know they made this for this long, but that's a neat find. I'll get back to you. Well, guys, it looks like the trees are really starting to pay off somewhat. Uh, this looks like it's a Chamberlain's completely slick blown in mold i'd say 1880s 1890s somewhere around there i really really wish i would have had something embossed on it that would have made the day right there considering what i really i mean i just really like to have an older find but i just found it right there in those sticks and it's the same style as the one that i found earlier that was broken damn well at least we're still finding stuff i'll get back to you if i find anything else well, guys, this is the end result. Uh, these bottles, plus Eli's bottles, got the slick uh, blown and mold. Chamberlain's medicine. Lysol, different variant that I've never seen. It says Lysol all the way around the top. And has the company embossed on the bottom in this ranch dressing that I'm going to turn purple in the sun. That's going to look very nice. Turned purple in the sun. Let me come around here. Then we got Eli's finds right here. Dr. Pepper, definitely one of the best finds. And the chamber, or the 
expectorant and the other stuff. But if you guys enjoyed, uh, please drop a like and a comment, and please subscribe. Uh, thanks so much for watching.